Right, so we're here at Gigabyte today to take a look at some of the new features of their new X79 boards. What you're looking at here is the new 3D power interface. So we get Stu here from Gigabyte to help us show us this a little bit. Okay, so it's, it's 3D power because there are three sides to the cube here. This is voltage, this is phase, this is frequency. The three dimensions of the power delivery team motherboard. We get voltage here. You present with a menu. You've got uh, turbo voltage response, load line calibration, and over voltage protection. Turbo volt uh, voltage response. You've got four options: standard, fast, turbo, extreme. Load line calibration. You can use to avoid V droop. And of course, these these are the 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 main elements of your power delivery. You've got CPU, uh, integrated memory controller, VDT, and of course the two memory bays, A, A B and C D. You can slide and adjust that load line calibration get the slider like, like that going back to the main menu phase here CPU phase control, overcome protection and thermal protection so that you can, if, if you want, you can allow it to go a little bit higher so that the CPU or the two memory bays can uh, will actually get a bit warmer if you, if you want to overclock so you can enable higher overclocks it was mentioned earlier that might require additional cooling on the um, power regulation yeah, circuitry. If, if you're overclocking, you might use additional fans to make sure to protect your system while you're doing that. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, going back in here, we can see for frequency control, we've got five options. And again, it's the same, uh, the same frequency control for the same five areas, the CPU, VTT, integrated memory controller, and again, the two memory bays. And this was mentioned, this helps either to overclock the system or make it more stable, right? Yeah. I mean, the idea is that enthusiast users can tweak these settings. If you want to reduce the PWM frequency, then that will enhance stability. But if you want to allow for a uh, more extreme performance, then you should raise it. All right. Cool. So that's a quick look at the new 3D power interface. And we're going to go have a bit of a look at the new BIOS next. So, as we've already seen in uh, Gigabyte's own video, this is the new 3D BIOS, or rather UAFI implementation from Gigabyte. So, this is the simple mode, and this is where you can sort of click around a little bit, and you get detailed information about what the different things do. Uh, and if you click on something, it actually brings you into a menu where you can uh, start making changes. This is the SATA controllers, and here you can enable the different modes depending on what you're running. And uh, there's also things like uh, the same what we saw in the um, 3D power interface. You can adjust most of those settings here as well. You got uh, on the right hand side here readouts for the different voltages and temperatures and just about everything else you need to know about your uh, board. You can flick the picture around if you like that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty neat interface. It runs smooth. It's quick. And uh, there's some hidden little things here as well, as you can see. There's the CPU frequency and the bus speed and the memory speed. And there's uh, the clock on the other side. <laughs> kind of silly little things, but sort of just nice touches they've added. So, um, of course, this is the advanced mode, which is... Uh, pretty much like your old BIOS, you can use the keyboard to move around. There were some concerns about how sort of Gigabyte had laid out things. It doesn't look as bad in real life as it might have done on the videos. Sure, there's a lot of empty space, but this is still sort of a work in progress and um, we're pretty sure Gigabyte will listen to your feedback if you have constructive feedback to give them on this. and. Um, they're still looking at implementing a lot of additional features over time to this, so bear with them. This is revision 1.0 of their UFI, and they've done at least something that no one else has, and it's a start. So we'll see how it goes. So this is a quick look at the uh, 3D BIOS from Gigabyte, and we're going to take a quick peek at their new retail boxes and boards as well. So we've already seen the boards. These are the new retail boxes for the X79 series. As you can see, they 
range in size to go with the level of sort of um, the different motherboard SKUs. So UD3 gets the smallest box and uh, yeah, the G1 Assassin 2 gets the biggest box. We've already shown you the boards, but as you can see, these are the final boards. It's not really any changes since what we've already got pictures of a, about a week ago, I think it was, we were here. So, yeah, it's, um, we're, we're getting this preview a few days before the actual launch, but uh, we can't post this video until launch, but yeah, there's nothing much to say. We've given you the details on these with the other bits you've already seen in this video that should give you a good overview of um, what Gigabyte X79 boards are all about. We just have to wait and see how things perform if Intel has managed to pull it off and put together a platform that will be attractive for the enthusiast user market. So there's a quick look at the Gigabyte X79 series.